Revenge. There's nothing quite like it. The group of tribes that had raided me were now feeling a bit of pressure. We stormed and raided their ally, and made it clear that we were coming for the rest of them. And there was only three of them left. Gotta say, I like those odds. Getting fucking jumped. Oh my god! There's so fucking many of them! First things first though, we gotta repel some random shitters outside our base. Cover me! Fuck. Alright, I got the trike out. Shoot me. Fuck. Took an arrow right to the back of the head. Get his ass. Get the fuck out of here. The fight clearly hadn't gone the way they were hoping. We'd killed everyone except the guy on the frog, and now he just kind of circled us, uh, licking us every once in a while. Kind of weird, not gonna lie. Where'd you go, little man? John Mark Gibson had fallen asleep. I needed to protect his body until he woke up. Fuck, he's unconscious. Fuck, situation's going bad. We need help. John Mark Gibson had woken up, but the situation was becoming untenable. They weren't really fighting us anymore, they were just doing hit and run tactics. There was no point sitting out here. We needed to go back behind our walls. Go, fall back. Kiwi, go home. Come on, this... Enough. It's time to go home. Come on, man. We're done here. There's no point being here anymore. Kiwi, however, wanted to stay out there and continue fighting. Despite my best attempt to explain why it was not a good idea to be out there, Kiwi remained. And you can't just leave someone out there by themselves, so I gotta stay out there too. Right around this point, the trike was pelted with trank arrows. It was gonna fall asleep, and I wasn't gonna be able to get it into the walls in time. Some fucker just took the saddle. Sick. <sighs> Come on, they're just leaving me to dry here. I gotta play fucking keep away with this fucking frog. You have my stimberries. Stimberries are. Maybe boost is a good start. He must be out of pistol ammo. Because I see no reason why he hasn't just gunned this thing. The trike was awake now. Time to bring him home. Bring all the trikes in. Still taking pot shots at us, we need to go. We shouldn't be out here. Well shit. That was just me, this guy, and whoever the fuck is trying to snipe me. Out of stamina. And with that the skirmishing outside the base was over. And all things considered, we actually did pretty good. Now it was getting pretty late for me, so it was about time I logged out. But I made a promise. A promise that tomorrow, we would get revenge. I logged back in and found that the base hadn't been raided. Now that is what you call a surprise. Overall, the base remained generally the same. Except now we had a shit ton of plants that were fully grown. Which was rather poggers, if I dare say so myself. Me and John Mark Gibson then set out on the journey of a lifetime.
we boarded our humble and quite honestly shitty raft and searched for a Procoptodon. Now I think some of you will understand the issue straight away, but if you don't, here's where our base is and here's where Procoptodons spawn. It's gonna be quite the journey, so better get started. We navigated along the southern beaches just fine. The waters were calm and we encountered no lead sicknesses. We did see a couple beach bob fires off in the distance at night, and we even saw an alpha carno. But overall it was just some smooth sailing. Along the way we saw a nice purple drop coming down on Herbivore Island, so we went to grab it and uh... Yeah, there was a fucking metal pipes blueprint inside, nice. We also found the ruined base of Chad Nations. Uh, rest in peace I guess, I don't know. We then continued our journey, and now we had to hug the eastern coast, and things were fine. For a while. It turned into quite the shit show. We needed to get some rare flowers for the Procoptodon, so we went to go mine some trees. And we were in the swamp, so swamp shenanigans happened. After John Mark Gibson died a whole bunch of times, we decided, fuck it, this place sucks, let's go up north and try that place out. And up there we found some guys for the taming raft. And for some reason, they did not close off the ceiling to their loot room. So we just hopped in and took a bunch of the shit we wanted. No clue why they didn't bother closing it up. And here the waters were a lot calmer, so we were able to get all the rare mushrooms we needed. So then we went around and patrolled the whole northeastern shore. And then we found it, a Procoptodon. I checked its level, and it's level 29. Max on the server is 30. So needless to say, we very quickly built a trap. Knocked the son of a bitch out and tamed the shit out of him. Now you might be under the impression that our hellish journey is finally over. Well, you would be wrong. See, we're an hour in, and we've only just now completed the easy part. We gotta make a saddle for this Procoptodon. And unlike most saddles, this one's actually a pain in the ass to make. The big thing is we gotta go over and get 150 pelt. And this means traveling over to the snow biome. Well, of course, this was the snow biome, so there was quite a bit of sussery abound. So we actually had to go a lot further into the snow biome than I would have liked to have gotten this pelt. But after killing a whole bunch of yoked animals, we finally got it. Oh yeah, and then don't forget we had to make the entire journey back. Now you might be thinking, damn, that was a lot of work. Was it worth it? And frankly, I think the results speak for themselves. Damn, that sure looks like an insurmountable river. Damn, that sure looks like an insurmountable cliff. Damn, that sure looks like an insurmountable cliff plus river combo. Damn, that sure looks like an insurmountable river plus wall plus base combo. So yeah, I'd say it was worth it. And now that I had this Procoptodon, it was time to go scouting. Knowing that most of the opponents I was facing lived on rafts, I first started by taking it out and patrolling the coast. Then I crafted myself a raft and just went on a suicide mission checking the entire world border. And finally I checked every single last landmass. This actually wasn't as difficult as it sounds because the Procoptodon is a fucking beast. After my thorough patrol of the map, I found two of the three enemies that were remaining. Casa Stark and Pop had been found. I had failed to find Stuff Crust, which is a shame. Most likely what happened was someone got to him before I did. I checked pretty much everywhere, there was nowhere they could have hidden. Now Casa Stark and Pop had taken alternative routes to securing their rafts. Pop had decided the best way to secure himself was to simply hide his base. Or should I say bases, these guys had two fucking rafts. Now both of these were pretty formidable turret rafts had they not stuck them into the side of a rock. This meant that only a couple plants would still continue to fire. They had put it in one of the most irrelevant spots in the game, the south of West 2. And I could tell from a glance that they had done the time-tested trick of pushing your smithy into a rock so that nobody raids your base since it's impossible to get loot out of it. But, uh, as I think you all know by now, I'm not after loot. So that wouldn't really be a problem for me. In fact, they'd basically just cuck themselves out of an actual chance of defending their base. It's a good thing I had the Procoptodon, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have found them. Casa Stark had taken the exact opposite method. Their base was damn near right next to ours, and they also had a turret raft. That was fucking lame. They used an interesting method where they took over this gulf and used empty rafts as sort of a blockade 
to prevent you from pushing your raft into theirs. Which, I mean, I gotta hand it to them, despite the fact that they're scummy and using turret rafts, this is actually pretty smart. And this would be a much tougher nut for me to crack than Pop, who were simply hiding. As such, I'd need to take Cassa Stark out first. But using grenades isn't going to work on this kind of base. I can't get anywhere near it without being shot by turrets. This left us with only two real choices. Do we want to use a ballista or a catapult? I deliberated with my tribe, a bunch of uninteresting shit like range, cost, damage, you know, shit that you don't care about. We ended up going with a catapult. But this thing, and especially its ammo, isn't free, so we better get to farming. And hey, look at this, the Procoptodon's good at that too. What we decided to do was build an incredibly simple boat. At this point, I couldn't wait any longer to get revenge. I just wanted these fuckers sank already. So it was just a little 2 by one with a storage box and a bed inside of it, and just a catapult on top of some pillars. Really could not get any more simple than that. Then we went ahead and farmed up a couple thousand pieces of stone. Each boulder this thing fires costs 30, and we're gonna need about 100. So I didn't waste any more time. The raft was done. Time to set out and sink these sons of bitches. Arriving at Castle Stark's base, I realized that building a catapult was the right move. I could set up just outside the turret's range and fire without any worries. And I didn't need any more encouragement than that. So I fired and fired away. First I destroyed all the plants. And once the plants were done, I moved my raft as close as I could. And then I was free to break into the core. No one was there to stop me, except some random fucking bum, who was more annoying than anything. Found a bunch of lazy fucks sitting inside, sleeping on their beds, so I chopped them up with my hatchet and took pretty much everything they owned. That's one more to knock off the list. Now all I gotta do is go and finish off Pop. And there's no time to waste. I'm gonna go pick up John Mark Gibson, and then we're gonna go sink these guys' ass. We're gonna get nothing out of it except the warm, sweet feeling of revenge. So we pulled pretty much the same trick, except this time a lot more boring. Pulled up, destroyed a bunch of stone structures on the rafts, and then hacked away at the actual raft itself. Even with the two of us working it took a fucking while. But that was perfectly fine by me. So we sunk one raft, and then sunk the second. That was it. Anyone who had ever stood against me was now decimated. They all at one point thought they were gonna beat me. Some even had for a time, but in the end, I was the only one left standing. And if that's not the closest thing you can get to a winning arc, then I don't know what is. Now I'd come into the server with the goal of simply surviving, but I think I'd done a little more than that. I'd say I damn near conquered the whole serve. Everybody who was in a position to attack me did, and they all ended up paying a price for it. I was pretty much the only one worth the damn still left standing, and all from my comfy home of South 1. Overall, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with this season. He's in- He glitched into my house! Nope, nope, he's in- He's just eating stim bears to keep swinging. Like, literally brain dead plays right now. A mission, if you will. Bitch with the pike just died. Now is the perfect time for an ambush. Oh, I killed the guy off the back of the frog. I scared the frog off, but people are starting to respawn. I need to- what I need right now. Armor's breaking, all of it, apparently. Frog nearly dead. So, I did accomplish my mission of killing their frog. Overall, this whole si This was the worst possible situation. Someone had pulled up outside my base with a turret raft. Ammo. Oh, I don't think they can even hit me. I had found a peculiar spot where I could stand in the plant. Whistle passive, don't come here, don't come here, get out of here, get out of here! Alright, 
come on. We gotta sacrifice them. Fiomia, move! Oh, French. Don't shoot me. If you fucking shoot me, I swear to God, I will kill you and everything you fucking own. I'll try to be nice. I'll take a risk here. I... Did you, did you send your shit after me? Shoot. Yeah, okay. That's all I needed. Start with you. Bye. Get out of here. Hey, this is what happens when you try to show them a little bit of mercy. Now you want to be friendly, huh? After whistling all your shit to come after me? And then shooting me in the head with the fucking arrow. Now it's time to be friendly, right? I'm never assuming the best out of anyone ever again. Everyone I see is hostile until proven otherwise in my books. I can't assume the best from people anymore. Did he really just leave his door open? I'll take those, because I, I like the irony of raising his own children from then. <laughs> trying to cover my- that's my friend. Run down there, the guy in the hide armor. Give some protection. I'd been killed, and as you probably expected, my trike, parasaur, and Fiomia were all led into the turrets of the raft. Stop! Stop trying to fucking cut my hair, bro. So what the fuck? <sighs> Mourn the loss of my tames. My Fiomia, who was forced to shit himself every single day just so I could put the feces in my plants. And my trike, whose only use was to facilitate this abuse. And who could forget my monkey? My most loyal foot soldier, who was undefeated in fair combat. All of them were slain while I was away because they feared the loyalty they had for me. God. Bad call. And that's that. Beginner server series has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I know I damn well enjoyed playing on those servers. Seriously, if you're ever looking for some old school PvP, go to the beginner servers. I mean, that, that's all there is to say. Subscribe if you want to, like if you want to. I'm not a fucking dictator, you can do as you please. But you can also subscribe to me on Patreon. There you get early access to videos, and hell, you even get to be on this screen. Ain't that cool? The link to it will be in the description down below. Thanks to Level 5 Tech Dodo, Dylan the Villain, and Matthew Farfan for being very epic. Level 5 Tech Dodo also says everyone that's not on this screen, well, they're just a bob. Not wrong, by the way.